The Big Brother Challenge is an amazing challenge on Football Manager. Essentially, all you have to do is pick a smaller team from the same city as a big club. So, for example, you could pick Paris FC, who are based in Paris, and try and overtake PSG. You're basically turning the small brother into being better than the bigger brother in this Big Brother Challenge. And here are my top five Big Brother Challenges you can do right now in Football Manager 2024. Coming in at number five is Paris FC. The aforementioned Paris FC Paris Saint Germain challenge is one of the most classic challenges you can get in Football Manager in the Big Brother series. This is why I have put it in at number five. It's an unbelievable challenge. PSG are going to be definitely hard to stop. They've got obviously unlimited funds. They've got the overpowered Ninja Turtle in Kylian Mbappe. They've got so many great players as well. And you're starting off at Lonely Paris FC, the original Paris club, I must add as well. So the fans of Paris FC might like me for that comment. And if you do like this save video type contest, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have so many ideas and so many ideas coming as well. In terms of the club, they are in League 2 in, in France. So one below the top division in France. Immediately, the club vision is to work within a budget and record a second half top half finish in the table. So finishing in the top half of the table is a fairly easy first season challenge, to be perfectly honest with you. In terms of the finances, they have £8 million in the bank and no net debt. So you've got a good financial place to start off with. Obviously, it isn't anything compared to PSG's financials, but it's a good start for the French second division. And in terms of the squad that you start off with, there are some fairly decent, decent players in there as well. Yuan Coré is a young French centre-back who's very good for... French League 2 would struggle in League 1, but I'm sure you can get him to being a quality player before you make that step up into League 1. Then you've got Luda Mabila, a Swiss, a Swiss player on the left wing. A new signing at the club come from Will. He's a decent League 2 player, would probably struggle again in League 1, but that's the sort of challenge you've got here at Paris. The first challenge is to get them into league earn and then start challenging PSG what you have to do is record how many t titles PSG are winning and win more than them so that's where the tough part comes in so if they start winning three or four Champions Leagues that's the aim of your save is to win more Champions Leagues than PSG what a save it is can you make Paris FC a bigger club than Paris Saint-Germain <laughs> Coming in at fourth place is Salford and Manchester United. Salford are the little brother of Manchester United. They're even got backing from the class of 92. So there's a good link there between Salford and Manchester United. So taking over Salford, they are currently in Sky Bet League 2. They've got a 5,000 seater capacity stadium. It was built a long, long time ago. So maybe the class of 92 will invest in a new stadium for you. Who knows? At some point, hopefully that will happen to the football club. Club vision is work within the budget, grow the club's reputation and gain automatic promotion to Skybet League 1 in your first season. So you have to win League 2 in your first season and move all the way up to the Premier League challenging for Manchester United. And as before, you have to win more trophies than Manchester United. So if Man United start winning trophies again, which is highly unlikely, then you have to go past them. So if they win one Champions League, you've got to win one and surpass them and become a bigger club than Manchester United. That is going to be some, some challenge in Football Manager 2024. Now, if we take a look at their finances, million pound in the bank, which is good for League 2. That's a lot of money in League 2, I'm not going to lie. And then debts and loans, there is a million pound net debt in there as well. And you're going to have to start paying it off by 7.5k a month. But it won't, it won't affect you massively. 7.5k a month with your total club balance is nothing really to be perfectly honest with you their squad well their squad is fairly good they've got some great players Connor mclennan is a very very good league two player he's come in from st johnston been playing in the spl so he will fit right in like a glove a lot of talent in the young 23 year old scottish winger there can play either right or left wing They've also got some good players on loan. Ethan Ingram on loan from West Brom is a solid right back at this division. Hasn't played professional football before, so will be his first season playing professional football in League 2. He could be one that could really develop and you could loan him back when you go into League 1 next season as well. We've got players like Luke Bolton as well to provide cover at right wing back for you. He's a bit of a Salford City legend. He was at Manchester City, Luton, Dundee United and has now played 59 games for the club scoring six goals and he's only 23 years of age got plenty of pace for league to a very very pacey wing back to add to your squad and last but not least is carlos tilt a center back jamaican international has been around the blocks in the efl has played for wigan rotherham and blackpool 
He is a player that could help you get into League One in the following season. Can you take Salford all the way from being Man United's little brother into being a bigger club than the powerhouse of Manchester United? 1816 Munich and Bayern Munich is another classic big brother challenge. 1816 Munich are one of Bayern Munich's biggest rivals in terms of the city and I say that a bit tongue-in-cheek to be perfectly honest 1816 Munich were founded in 1860 if you couldn't already imagine it's in their name they are one of Germany's oldest clubs but now find themselves in the third division of the German tier it is not looking good for 1816 Munich they're a club that everyone loves to be on football manager and that everyone loves to take up to being the biggest brother so again you have to win more trophies than Bayern Munich which is probably one of the hardest ones you can do because they always seem to win the Bundesliga and are very strong domestically and very strong in Europe as well so this is a very tough challenge right off the bat in terms of the club vision for the first season, however, it is record a top half finish in the league, be competitive in the pole cow, work within the budget. So fairly easy objectives in the first season in order to build your club up and take them into the second Bundesliga as your first real objective with the football club. But remember, while you're doing that, Bayern Munich are winning trophy after trophy after trophy. So it compounds the issue. So fast progress would be ideal for 18-16 Munich, but you don't want to rush it. You don't want to go up to the Bundesliga and come straight back down again and buy Munich with another trophy. It then adds and compounds the issue that you've got. In terms of the finances, nearly £6 million in the bank is an absolute crazy amount of money for being in the German third division. In terms of debts and loans, there is a big debt at the football club. It is £47 million with a 450k payable per month. That is going to eat away at your finances through the years. You're going to have to try and get to the Bundesliga and get European football as soon as you can and in order to not to destroy the football club financially because that is a heavy burden of debt you've got at 18, 16 minutes to make the challenge even harder than what it is already. In terms of the squad, they've got some very good players, I have to say. Julian Gattau is a German winger, can play right, left, in the middle, across the front line, really. He's been a second division, third division player all of his career. Can you kick him on and become one of Germany's, you know, better wingers, to be honest with you? He could play second division, in my opinion. I've been a bit tongue-in-cheek when I said Germany's best winger, but Nicholas Lang is a good centre-back as well. Been playing for 18, 16 Munich all his career. He's a one-club man. Decent defender. Will probably do okay in the second Bundesliga towards the bottom half of the table. Other players that I like the look of, they've got a great player on loan in Kilian Ludwig on loan from RB Salzburg. This guy is a very, very good right back for the third division. And if you can pick him up with 18, 16 minutes, it could be good going forward because he normally develops into a fairly decent right back from my saves and other simulations that I have seen. One last player to take a look at is Marco Hiller, the goalkeeper. You always need a solid goalkeeper at the back. And this guy could be that for you. An 1860 Munich man all of his career. A bit of a club icon as well. Can you make 1860 Munich a bigger and better club than the dominant Bayern Munich? Leighton Orient and West Ham isn't a rivalry that you probably heard much about, but they're only a stone's throw away from each other now. West Ham are in the Olympic Stadium and Orient are based in Leighton, which is one stop on the train away from Stratford. So it is very, very close. And what I've done here is they are the most comparable team in East London to West Ham. So starting off with the little brother in Leighton Orient and the big brother being West Ham, you have to win more trophies than West Ham and this is an interesting one for me because I grew up in the area and would love to take on this challenge one day I feel like it'll be quite a good one quite a nice one introduction into the little brother big brother challenges West Ham aren't the dominant team in the Premier League and they don't win as many trophies as what they should but they did win a European trophy last year and are and on my stage and simulations of one FA Cups League Cups before so it's definitely an interesting challenge to take a hold of now Leighton Orient called the O's. Their stadium is the one where you've got the um, the flats on the corner. It's a strange setup, but hey, here we are. It was built in 1956. It's got 4,500 season ticket holders. They are a vocal crowd down at Leighton Orient. They get behind their side. I've been there a lot of times. They've got a big, big support, I have to say. The club vision in the first season is to avoid relegation from League 1 as they just came up last season from League 2. Work within the budget and grow the club's reputation. Well, on this challenge, that's exactly what you have to do in any any case. In terms of the finances for Leighton Orient, they've got 900k in the bank and 10 million pounds worth of debt that you don't have to pay back in each month because it is a gift. And who doesn't love gifts? It's great. So pretty much a clean sleet to play with there in terms of like the finances of the football club. You give yourself the best start in this 
big brother challenge now a lot of their players that they've got in the first season are on loan but they do have some talents in their academy they've got charlie pegram who is gonna be a very very good league one league two type winger i feel like he'd be good he can develop put him in the right mentoring groups the right training this young man will shine but the the, the long-term goal is hindered by these loan signings but the loan signings are your best players to be perfectly honest Idris in the center of the park on loan front mids, which is very, very good. He's a ball in midfield player, Tunisian international, a quality player for League One, will help you keep you in the in League One. He'll be a solid, solid player to play at holding midfield. Other players they've got is Brandon Cooper on loan from Swansea. He's a good League One centre back, played at Forest Green last season, played a bit at Swansea and Swindon. He's a bit of an EFL journeyman at this point. He's only 23 years of age, but can this be the club that he turns his form around in and helps you stay in League One for that first season? Obviously, the first objective will be to get to the Championship and beyond. But can you take Leighton Orient from being the East London little brother into being East London? <laughs> The ultimate big brother challenge comes in the form of Rayo Vallecano in Spain. And their big brother is none other than the biggest club in the world, Real Madrid. They are the biggest and best club in the world. They win the trophies. It is going to be one of the toughest big brother challenges that you can do. Overtaking Real Madrid, who are normally dominant domestically, win Champions Leagues, they win Club World Cups, they win everything and they've got a great, great squad. Not only have you got to overtake them, but you've got to become a bigger and better club worldwide than Real Madrid. That is a tough challenge in on itself. And they've had some good players play for him down the years by Avocano. Michu, the streets won't forget him for sure. He was, well, what a player he was. And then one day Ramos as a manager, the last manager to win Spurs a trophy. So can't really argue with him. He did he did a fairly good job there. Um, but yeah, in terms of the club vision, the club vision is work within a budget, finishing the mid-table in Spain. So fairly easy introduction into this into the first few seasons as you get to grips with Royal Valavacano and La Liga. But obviously the long-term challenge is overtaking Real Madrid and that's where the tough part comes in. In terms of the finances, they've got £1.7 million in the bank. So not a lot of money and there isn't a lot of money in Spanish football as well until you start getting into European competitions and building that up. So you're going to have to channel your inner Harry Redknapp at the start of this save. In terms of net debt and transfer debt, there's no debt at a football club. So it's a clean slate to work with to build up the finances, to push Rayo Vallecano forward and to push them to being better than Real Madrid. It is an unbelievable challenge. And their squad is, is okay, I would say. Randy and Tecker is a name that sticks out to me. A FIFA legend is a fairly good French player. Can play sort of down the spine of the team, not including centre-back. But is probably more suited at... At Cam, he is a very good player for Rayo Vallecano, I have to say. They've got other players as well, like Martin Pascal. He's fairly decent at centre back. Again, it's sort of these are bottom of the table, mid table ish La Liga player. So you're going to need a little bit of a better squad there. Raul de Tomas, well, he is a striker that has played for Spain in the past and played pretty much all of his career at Espanyol. Started off at Real Madrid and is now at Vallecano. He'll be a very good starting forward for you. He will get goals for you in La Liga. He's a fairly decent forward, a one-in-two man for Espanyol. So why he can't become a one-in-two man for you, there is no reason for that. Another player I'd like to pay attention to is Abdul Moumin. He is a Ghanaian centre-back, normally plays for Ghana as well. He's fairly good at La Liga level. He will help you push forward this team. He's a very, very good starting centre-back for Rayo Vallecano. Can you take Rayo Vallecano to being a better and bigger team than Real Madrid in this ultimate big brother challenge?